Today is Tuesday, November 14th, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Ilana Epstein. Here are today's top stories. Although we are not on Thanksgiving break yet, Syracuse students are already gathering with friends to show their thanks. Friendsgiving is in the Shine Student Center tonight from 7.30 to 9 p.m. All SU community members are invited to join the festivities sponsored by Christian Outreach and the Christian Protestant Chaplaincy. The menu includes chicken, sweet potatoes, broccoli, salad, and pizza. Tonight, a nonprofit organization will be collecting donations at the men's basketball game in the JMA Wireless Dome. United Way of Central New York provides residents with access to essential resources. The group is gathering proceeds as part of the overall United Way SU giving campaign. Syracuse has supported United Way for 50 years, and those who attend the game will have the chance to continue the tradition. At 7 p.m. tonight, all are invited to attend a speaker event at Syracuse Hillel. Israeli journalist, TV anchor, and U.S. correspondent Naria Kraus will discuss her personal experiences as a journalist for News Israeli 13. Dinner will be held before the event at 6.30. We have updates on the I-81 construction that began last night. The construction is scheduled to continue through Friday and lanes will reopen Saturday morning. I-81 northbound will be closed between exits 16A and 17 between the hours of 7.30 p.m. and 6 a.m. On Thursday, southbound construction will begin since the same lanes will be closed overnight. According to the Department of Transportation, these closures are needed in order to remove steel beams from the destruction of an I-481 southbound ramp. Staying on 81, the New York Department of Transportation is showing drivers how their commute will change near the I-81 and 481 connection. Here's what it looks like now. This is a shot looking north towards the Brighton Towers. Now, if we look at the new plans, we can see two new roundabouts. Let's say you're driving back to campus from Wegmans or Aldi in DeWitt. You'll have to exit 481 and use local streets and a new roundabout to get back onto a ramp for I-81 North. Commuters coming back the other way will have the same high-speed access from 81 South to 481 North. Despite the changes, the state says the new route won't add any significant time to your trip. Well, thanks for that traffic report, Alana. Well, coming up after the break, I'll have your full three-day forecast. Stay with us. Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have prediabetes. Big time. Welcome back to the now. Governor Kathy Hochul announced today she will not be able to issue state approved work papers to migrants. Hochul claimed she is, quote, constrained by the law and end quote, and she decided she will not be able to protect New York employers from criminal exposure under federal laws. This decision is because thousands of asylum seekers have been occupying New York for months without federal work authorization. And for our weather today, we had some loud thunderstorms last night. Citrus TV's Brandon Myers is in studio with us. Brandon, what weather should we expect this evening? Well, Alana, it certainly is going to be very cold tonight. But first, right now it's 40 degrees out. It's cloudy with five mile per hour winds. Definitely feeling very chilly. I actually had to bring out my jacket for the first time all semester. Later tonight, it's going to be getting even colder down to 35 degrees. Those clouds are going to be dispersing just a little bit, as well as the winds dying down. Let's take a look here at our three day forecast. On Wednesday, it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 55. We are seeing a bit of sun into Thursday with a high of 60 degrees. Those clouds are going to be moving away just a little bit. And unfortunately, Friday, we are going to be seeing some rain as students begin to go home for our Thanksgiving break. So certainly be mindful of that when you begin to travel. I'm going to break down all of what's going on on Friday as well as that loud thunder on News Live at 6. Alana? Thanks, Brandon. Coming up on News Live at 6, our reporter Maura Vaughn will tell us about the first annual Miracle Kid fashion show that was held this weekend. The event was sponsored by SU's Autothon. And that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on X or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Ilana Epstein. The news continues in an hour with John Perrick and Jake Morrell.